Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Commando on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So here we go, Commando on the Nintendo NES, guys. This is a pretty good game, by all means it's not the perfect port of an arcade classic, but it's my favourite to play, probably because it's most approachable, I guess, for a casual gamer like me, so it's a really, really good time. I actually first saw this game when I was about four years old. Uh, it was in the arcades. Actually, I saw this at an arcade in an amusement park called Mirage, which I think was in Oxley, uh, near Brisbane in Australia. And uh, they had, you know, mini golf, go-karts, arcade parlor, kind of like uh, golf and stuff, just like in uh, Karate Kid. It was that kind of place, really cool. And uh, this was the first time I saw the game. Don't really remember playing it at the time, but I remember being so fascinated by the game because at that point I was only playing like home console games at home. I hadn't really experienced the arcade really yet, so it was a real treat. And then sometimes on the weekends, not too long later, my, my friends would bring uh, the Commodore 64 over on the odd occasion and they'd have a copy of this of Commodore 64. And uh, it was a fun time. Uh, it was a really, really good music. I would actually argue the Commodore 64 version has the, the best soundtrack and yeah, to tell you the truth, I didn't know about this NES version for a number of years, and if I'm going to be honest, I don't even know if it came out uh, in Australia. You'll have to let me know in the chat. But I finally found out about this once uh, I became a streamer, and I thought I'd give it a go. And by all means, it's not perfect. It's, it's a little bit laggy, you know, there's some sprite flicker and things like that. But the bit difficulty's not too over the top. So if you combine that with the ability to use like a rapid fire controller and stuff as you can see I'm using here And uh, there's gonna be a good time to be had guys Anyway commando is a game where you play this little I guess marine green beret commando guy Whatever you want to call him and you have to go through multiple levels. I think there's actually about four And uh, what happens is once you beat the four levels uh, The game will loop and then you can continue I don't remember how many times this game loops, to be honest. I usually just beat it once over and I'm kind of okay. But uh, again, let me know in the chat. But this is a good game, great time killer, arcade style. Got 20 minutes on your hands, this is definitely should be one of the top choices you put on. Uh, this game does have a few extra features, as far as I know, uh, in comparison to the arcade version. Uh, for the most part, it's a... Uh, an identical copy, albeit a slight graphical downgrade. However, there are little secret bonus levels in this which are pretty neat. Uh, I guess though, with that being said, it's a nice addition, but they are kind of there for the sake of being there. You can get some extra points, kill some extra henchmen and stuff, but I don't think they really have any actual extra benefit or use to your attack power or anything, but it's a nice little gimmick. As I said, this is a port of a very uh, old game. I think the original Commando came out in 1984-85 by Capcom. So, uh, yeah, a little bit dated by today's standards, but, you know, always the less is more approach with these arcade games. They didn't have to completely rewrite the rulebook. They just had to be fun the moment you pick up the controller and play. And Commando here on the NES uh, definitely delivers. Not massive variety of enemies here. As you can see, you've got these green shield guys. You get a lot of grenades in this game. There's two attacks. You've got your machine gun ammo or the grenades. You only get to shoot on one angle in this game. In later vertical sort of commando style shooters, you can shoot in all directions. But when it comes to the grenades, I only shoot in one direction here. And as you can see, you have to really hit the sweet spot with a grenade to even land them. I just, uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised it's a grenade and there's like hardly any recoil damage with these subfishes. But you know, it's all good. That's all good. I'm happy pretty much walking through most of this game without using any explosives unless I absolutely have to. I will say this, occasionally you'll come across enemies in this game that are stationed like, uh, I guess you could say in a trench or something. It's a little bit easier to kill those guys when they're not moving around. Here we go, I think we're on the second last level. We're going to be doing one loop today, everybody. You'll have to let me know uh, your favourite Commando memory in the chat as well, or even if you've played the NES version. Hopefully we can keep it nice and clean here. So far, so good. There you go. See, you've got those little trench submissions. Sometimes, I mean, you can use take whatever strategy you want here. You can take your time and just uh, gradually make inroads here, I guess. Move forward, or you can just 
take the approach of just charge right in and do the whole Leroy Jenkins thing. I mean, there's there's multiple ways you can uh, approach this game. I guess you're really only limited by your skill level in this, which is nice. It's a nice thing about this game too, I have to say. I don't, I don't feel like I'm fighting the controls or anything like that. Uh, you know, usually if I die in this game, I'll be like, okay, I screwed up, which is which is a good thing. So the, the mechanics are perfectly okay. Like I said, I definitely would uh, get yourself a turbo controller, or if you're using this on emulation, I would recommend using this Topia for the turbo settings. Make sure you emulate legally, of course. I don't know if you can get the NES version uh, today. I know uh, there's been uh, many uh, Capcom collections that have come out over the years, and uh, to this day there's actually a Capcom Stadium Arcade collection, I think, on PS4 and PS5 at the moment. And uh, you can actually play the arcade version of Commando on that. And what's really cool is you can actually tailor that game to your, uh, I guess, your skill level. So unlike the original arcade version, which was brutal, you can make the game uh, a lot more forgiving thanks to modern technology. Let's get these guys on the... There we go. This is the one area where the grenades are actually useful. There we go. We got that son of a gun. Oh, what's in that bag? I don't, I don't think I remember getting that bag before. We better... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I was trying to get it and it automatically ended the level. Can someone please tell me in the chat what that bag is supposed to do? There was a, there was probably a whole pile of goodies in that and I just missed out. I'll see if I can find uh, the hidden special uh, area in this uh, final level here. I like how the music changes for this uh, final stage too, just makes things a little bit extra uh, dramatic. As I said, not a big thing, but I just like little small touches, even if it is on a game that is this old. Oh gosh. I think that was one particular area where being a little bit uh, more on the offensive side actually saved me far out. I, I kind of wish this had like a sprint button like in those old uh, Call of Duty games. Now forgive me guys, I, can't, I don't know. Oh there we go, there's a hidden stage here. So I was hoping I'd be able to show you one. Let's have a look. There we go, we're going to go inside this trench. So we got all these fuel cans, but this is not Ik uh, Ikari Warriors. If you remember Ikari Warriors, a game like this. So I think all they do is give you points. Oh, that's it! Oh, I've never done that little hidden level before. Before I'd had to kill a few guys and collect other items. That's interesting. Oh, damn. I hope we're gonna still be able to beat this game today. So sometimes I will say this, and it's only a small criticism because it only happens every now and then. Sometimes, if you're coming out of a a tunnel or out from under a bridge, or if you're um, getting a little bit too close to, uh, I guess I don't know, some cover, the collision detection can occasionally be a little bit questionable, and you can. Feel like you get trapped even if it seems like you shouldn't be trapped but it doesn't happen often and, and like I said earlier in the video for the most part the gameplay in this is absolutely phenomenal it's just a shame some of these NES games had so much bright flicker I'm not gonna lie it does get a little bit annoying at times but I promise you guys don't let that deter you from the overall experience oh well, there you go the alarms are going off they're calling all their freaking buddies now that's fantastic Leave your buddies at home, you don't need them, you can take care of business yourselves. It's, fun it's funny how they call this game Commando, it also reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando. It's kind of like when he went to that make-believe country to save his daughter, I mean this is kind of what Gish looks like. This might be the big man mansion that he entered. Oh, well, let's see how we go here. Oh, is that it? Did we beat it already? Oh, well, there we go. That was a bit of an underwhelming final level, wasn't it? <laughs> but as I said, the game does continue to loop and you can keep playing. I don't know if it's one of these Mandela effect memories, but I think the Commodore 64 version actually had more than four levels. I don't know if they had custom levels as well. You'll have to let me know. But that's pretty much it for this video. And thank you so much, guys, for watching my playthrough of Commando. Share your memories in the comments below. Let me know what other games you'd like to see. And we will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.